the Arkless from MechLife. Let's have a look. Hey guys, Ben Vick here, back with another review. Today we are looking at this. This is the Arclus from MechLife, a brand new vape company. They've actually existed in the vape world for a long time, but uh, they're under a brand new banner, brand new company name, and the new name is MechLife. This is their first product, and it's their first collaboration. This has been designed in collaboration with Ambitions Vapor. Derek, uh, an American reviewer, um, check him out, he's a good guy. And he's collaborated with MechLife on this, the Arclus. Calling it the Arclus because it uh, is apparently uh, doesn't arc. It doesn't arc. It's not the the only mech claiming to not arc, but um, they say it doesn't arc. That's not really my thing. All this voltage drop and silver plated brass and all this silver plated copper and all that. That's not really my speed. I just see how I like vaping on it. As if I detect a bit of uh, sag or whatever, then I'll let you know. Um, in terms of Arclus, I genuinely don't know whether that it can, whether it's true that it doesn't arc or not. I take the word for it. They say it's a continuous, uh, a constant contact switch that I'll show you down low, and that is what helps it not arc, um, which I can believe. I can believe that is a thing. I don't think it guarantees not arcing, but again, this is not really my thing, so we'll leave it at that. They say it is arcless, and under voltage drop tests that I've seen, it seems to stand up very, very well in terms of vaping it. I'm not detecting any voltage drop. Very, very nice indeed. Um, you can also get additionally a stacked a stacked piece as well to turn this into a big series dual 21700 mech. Um, and also there's going to be additional sleeves. This, this bit here is a sleeve and you can get additional sleeves at an extra cost as well. So that is going to be available uh, to get. So there's a few extras available if you want them as well. 27 mil wide, but designed for 25 mil at ease. It tapers in at the top. Uh, it comes with a battery uh, adjustment piece, so you can use uh, smaller batteries if you would want, but ideally it's suited for 21700 batteries. I've got the recoil on top of here, and it's vaping like this. I believe there's gonna be some different colors, but the only one I've seen so far is the black one. But don't forget the sleeves are what are going to be where all the colour comes from when the sl additional sleeves come out. Let's dive down low so you can have a really good look at this. Show you the switch. I'll take the switch apart and all that. But I won't go into too much science because it's not really my bag. Then we'll come back up top for pros and cons on this. The Arclus from MechLife. Let's go. Okay, guys, here we are down low with the MechLife Arclus from Ambitions Vapor and MechLife. 21700 mech mod this is the packaging uh, it comes with a stacked tube well it doesn't come with a stacked tube you can get a stacked tube additionally taking it up to uh, two 21700 uh, batteries uh, so if you like your stacked mechs you like your series vapes that is a definite option it's about 17 18 pounds or something for the additional stacked tube and uh, yeah no issues there but that's a thing but let's focus on the mod. Uh, packaging's really cool. It suggests here there's going to be additional sleeves available. I'll show you how that is in a second. And a uh, little, nice little info on the switch. It's a new company. Um, MechLife is a new company, uh, but uh, they have been around for in vaping for quite some time. They're just this just a new brand. Okay, so this is a packaging. Open it up. Get a little booklet. We get uh, spare springs and all that sort of stuff in here. Uh, you get your battery tube if you want to change it to a smaller battery size. I don't know why you would, but uh, it's definitely an option. Uh, you, then you've got all your uh, springs and spare contacts. You get a spare little button cover as well. Uh, spare springs always good to have. Uh, sometimes you get ones that are slightly better tension than others and all that sort of thing, or if you lose it or whatever. So this is the mod. This is the mod. Let's tidy up this desk. Okay, so this is the this is it. This is the mod, the Arclus, 25 mil on top. That's what uh, that's the size of uh, atomizer that fits the best. 24 look really good as well. Um, yeah, so 25 and 24. It's actually 27 wide, but it tapers in a little bit here. 
don't know how easy it's going to be to see on camera. I wonder if I can get it to uh, focus on me. Right, so if you see along top here, it says Mech Life Arclus. I think that looks really classy, really like that font and the way that is engraved in there. Uh, you've then got your super grippy section here, and you've got your uh, your button here, like that. So it's nice, noisy, nice and noisy switch. Okay, so starting at the unscrewing of the switch, we'll come back to the switch properly in a second. But uh, it's a continuous contact switch. That means that the the button makes the contact with the contact and the contact remains contacted to the battery. I hope that's cleared that up for you. 21700s, I've got the Galisi, which fit perfectly. Um, and then this, look, this, it's on. Oh, it's on a sleeve, and I don't want to mess around with this too much, but basically these sleeves are changeable. They've got little O-rings underneath, uh, so you can take those off and you can get new ones. And I, don't, I want to keep that really nice and firm, so I'm not going to take that off properly. Um, because yeah, I want to keep it nice and tight on there. I don't want it to get loose. So, but that's it. This is a sleeve, basically. This lovely grippy bit is a sleeve. Hybrid top cap. That's just part of the mod. Uh, that's fixed. Obviously, hybrid means you need uh, to bear all your safety things in mind. What you uh, need is a protruding 510 pin. I don't recommend this mod for tanks or sub tanks or clearomizers or anything like that. This is for RDAs. Or our DTAs with a nice, nice protruding 510 pin. I'm going to put my recoil on here, which is 25 mil, I believe. It's the OG recoil, uh, and uh, yeah, I think it looks great on there. I'll show you all put together in a second, but I really like the look of that. Um, really happy with the black on black there. So anyway, uh, so that is that hybrid top cap. Be safe, protruding 510s for the win. And you can see you've just got your. Uh, your contact in there. You can also see the shininess in there. You see that shininess? That's because it's got the plastic battery protection coating inside as well. So that's the top of the tube. We've then got this switch, which I've, I've explained beautifully already. You can see it says Ambitions Vapor. That is the vape reviewer that they've collaborated with on this. Uh, and it's, an, it's a nice switch. It's one of those switches where it doesn't look as good until you put it together with a battery and an RDA in. It looks like really long throw and it looks really weird. But then, because it's got the self-adjusting, once you've got your battery in, and that goes like that, you've got your battery in, you've got it all set up, it's actually a nice little throw. So it's more like that in real life. Um, yeah, pretty good, pretty good. One thing I would say about this button, and, and this is a thing with mech sometimes, sometimes it's not, it's one of those buttons where it works a lot better if you press it right in the middle. It's a tiny bit crunchy if you miss and go like that. Uh, but bang in the middle and it is a beautiful, beautiful switch if you bang it right in the middle. It is easy to do in the middle because it's got a nice little like groove in there and a nice grippy button as well. Right, now getting in here is fun. Getting in here is fun. So what you've got to do is you've got to get something that can get hold of both of these sides. I hate, I hate, hate, hate getting into mech switches on camera. <laughs> okay, so once you've unscrewed that black bit, it comes out like this. You've got your constant contact there. You've got your venting as well, worth noticing that. And then it's effectively just a spring. And uh, you do get those spare, spare springs with it. Uh, so that is how the, the button looks. Like I say, uh, not really my bag getting into all those, um, but that's effectively how it works. Okay, and that is it back together. So, battery positive up. Lovely fit on the battery, you see that? You've got your, uh, you've got your uh, silver plated copper and all that nonsense. I'm not into all that, um, but, <laughs> but it's got all that throughout if you like that sort of thing. I'm not really a, a raw metals guy. Um, so there we go. So there it is. That's how it looks with the, the recoil on top. I think it's great. Don't forget there's going to be additional sleeves as well. Yeah, it's a piece. It's a piece and a half. It's an absolute weapon. I, I really like the way it looks. Uh, so let's go up top for pros and cons. See you in a sec. 
Okay, guys, that was the Arclus from MechLife down low. 21700 mechanical mod. Stacked piece available if you want to turn it into a dual 21700. 27 mil wide, but ideally suited to 25 mil RDAs and 24 mil RDAs. Look great on top of here as well. Continuous contact switch. Um, which I showed you down low. It's a spring-based switch system, and uh, once you've got your battery in and your Ation and that, it's a very nice sort of light throw. Um, not too hard, not too harsh at all, uh, and it's got a nice feel to the switch and the button, and I really like the way it feels when it vapes. Vaping like this with the recoil on top. Very, very nice vape indeed. Feels great. I'm not detecting any crazy voltage drop or anything like that. Um, raping really, really nice. Very comparable, if not slightly tipping uh, my Dreamer, which is uh, was my favorite mech up to the point of getting this. Um, so very, very nice indeed. It has a resemblance to other mechs. Um, that has been pointed out to me. It does look like a couple of other mechs out there a little bit. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, it's a 21... 700 tube so there's only so different they can make it um, they've done their own switch in here which is the most fundamental important bit on a mech and i, I think it's a very very nice uh, operating piece in terms of negatives i don't have a great deal um, obviously it's a question of whether you are a tube mech user as to whether you're interested in this don't forget there's no safety on here it's all on you you've got to be careful with your battery safety you've got no ohms law you've got no uh, about battery wraps, keeping them all neat and tidy and clean, um, amp drawer, all that sort of thing. You know, you need high amp drain batteries on here. So all that stuff's down to you. There is no built-in safety on here. It's a hybrid top cap as well. So you need a nice protruding 510 pin. Don't try and put a sub tank on here or anything like that. So it's got all that stuff going on. So if, if you're a tube mech person, then this is obviously something for you but i would just want to point out at this point it's for advanced users only really there's no built-in safety with a device like this it's the straight power from the battery coming straight to the rda so yeah so it's a question more of if it's if it's something for you or not um in terms of size i can show you the dreamer and it's virtually the exact same height as the dreamer even the switch is the same height uh, everything about this you can see they're identical heights uh, with similar atties on top uh, so yeah that's pretty much the uh, pretty much the standard typical height it's not super short or super long or anything like that uh, it's very nice I really like the feel in the hand with this grippy sleeve don't forget additional sleeves are going to be available resin ones and things like that different colors are going to be made available also don't forget there is a stacked tube piece uh, available as well for an additional cost in terms of cost it looks like it's going to be about £50 in the UK. Uh, obviously, there's that dollar conversion, and they're not out in the UK yet, but it's looking like they're going to be around the £50 mark, which I think is a great price for what feels so well made, so well engineered, so well made. I love the build quality on this. feels really nice and sturdy. It's this, um, this powder-coated, this electroplated uh, coating on top of a copper tube. So... Um, it's it's going to stand up to scratches, nicks, knocks. It's not going to get anything like that. And you've got that uh, that lovely, lovely conductive copper tube underneath. So it's the right. It's definitely uh, the right stuff. It's definitely the right materials used on here. You've got your silver plated contacts and all that nonsense as well. Um, so yeah, really, really nice. The only kind of user experience thing I would say is with the switch. Now, it's really, really easy with this switch because it, it's concave. Um, it's really easy to find the middle of the switch and it's, you know, it vapes and presses really nice when you hit the middle of the switch. The only thing I would say, and it's the same for a lot of, lot of mechs out there, is if you try and push it on the edge, it just gets a little bit crunchy. Um, it really does feel like there's much a, a much better switch when you hit it right in the middle. I really like this. I really like this mech. I'm really enjoying using it. It's great to dig out the old recoil as well. Um, it's it's hitting like a champ. I um, really like the way it's put together. I really like the build quality. Uh, I, I really like the design. I think the switch is really good, really smooth, really clean. 
continuous contact apparently is a thing uh, that is good. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's not really my speed, uh, all that stuff, but apparently it's a good thing. And uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying this mech. This is as good a mech as I've ever had, to be perfectly honest. Uh, really, really enjoying it. Great job, Derek. Great job, MechLife. Keep an eye on MechLife. They're going to have several products out this year, and they're uh, really serious operators, uh, really good guys in that team. So, really cool, really cool. The Arclus from MechLife, very, very nice indeed. Uh, two thumbs up from me, really enjoying using it. And uh, that's that. Uh, any links I can find, I will put in the description, but uh, it's, it, they're a new company, so it's very tricky. I don't think it's available in the UK anywhere yet. Uh, it's available in a few places in America if you want to do that old uh, Google search, though, so check that out. I've been very big. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like, subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.